This game is called Avatar Rogue Benders, and when I found out this game was actually being revived, I was a little excited to see that. I played this game for the first time probably just a little over a year ago, so I was really looking forward to seeing what they added into the game. Last time around, I was a firebender, and I never did a video on the game because there wasn't much to do besides a couple of quests to get money and fight other people playing. This time I started off as an earthbender, which I probably should have kept because it's honestly something I never used in an avatar game before. But after doing some rerolls, I ended up as an airbender. I also got the lucky trait, which according to the Trello means I get a 15% chance to get more money after completing a quest. I started off with a little bit of meditation, which you can do by going to any of these mats located in towns. It'll give you random keys to click for an exact number of times, and when you get them right, you get some wisdom points and energy. There were some people saying they meditated for 10 minutes and didn't get any points, so I don't know if that's a bug or they didn't read the screen where it says click to meditate. After meditating for a while, I decided to start doing my quest. Honestly, don't remember if you had to find your trainer last time, but it shows you a big arrow on your screen where you need to go, so essentially I followed the arrow. After getting to my trainer, I learned my first airbending technique, but he really charged me 250, which is pretty selfish for a monk to charge his own students. But I get it, it's 2023, so times are tough. The next part of my quest was to sit down and meditate again, so I meditated until I messed up a key. I tried to talk to my trainer again to see how much my next skill would cost, but inflation went up that day and he was asking for 300. I had to get more money so I continued my quest. I followed the arrow again until I found the guy that needed some help. He was asking me to deliver a crate to the docks and he would pay me for it. Obviously I had to agree because I'm trying to get all my bending techniques. He told me the crate was on top of the hill so I climbed that to get the crate. Now all I had to do was run it all the way to the docks to get my payment. Now I forgot there was barbers in this game to change your hairstyle, so I stopped real quick to grow some hair. So then we went back to running, and honestly running in this game is painful to listen to. For the entire time I was running over to the docks, this is all I heard. But I finally made it to the docks and delivered the crate. I got my payment and had enough for the next skill. After doing some exploring I also stumbled across the blueberry picking quest that I remembered from the older version. This quest is definitely a lot faster than having to run cross country to get paid, but it still didn't pay that well compared to another quest I remembered from the old game. I did the blueberry quest for a while to gain some fast cash until I had a decent amount. I went back to the air temple to finally get some clothes on my character. Clothes have stats in the game so I went back and forth between my options until I finally decided on speed over defense. Cause I'm an airbender which is kind of bad in the game, which hopefully means running speed cause that's what I'ma do. I got another haircut and didn't like it, so I tried again and the barber did me dirty. He charged me again to get the same exact haircut, which means I had to go back to getting money again. But luckily for me I found the quest that really pays you good and it's fast to complete. All you have to do is climb the volcano and get the panda lily. It's honestly the best quest in the game so far since it looks like nothing new was added, besides the map being moved around. I did this quest a couple of times until I finally had enough money to get the glider, one of the most essential items for an airbender to have. Gliding around is probably the only positive you have when it comes to being an airbender. You can call it cheating all you want, but the glider made the easiest quest a hundred times easier. If I remember correctly, the old game had a cooldown on quests which definitely needs to be added back, especially since any airbender can abuse the glider for some quick cash. Doing the quest the airbender way got me a lot of money in a short amount of time. So with my hard earned cash in my bag, I finally went to learn my skills I was missing. I flew all the way back to my trainer to learn air combo, who thankfully was only charging me 300 for it. That was the last skill that this trainer could teach me. So the next adventure was for me to find the other trainer to learn my last three skills. I was flying around the map looking for him when I found someone steering a boat. I went to make an ally since I saw he was an airbender too. But before I could say anything to him, he abandoned ship. And then I went to go see what was up, but he logged. He probably thought that I was going to attack him. Since he left, I went back to finding my trainer. I knew he was somewhere in the Earth Kingdom area, so I headed in that direction. The first place I found was the White Lotus Camp, which didn't have anything there. After that, I found myself visiting the Earth Capital. I didn't stick around for long. The next location I flew over was Harishu Village. There wasn't much to do there either. But after some searching, I finally found the bridge I was looking for. The monk was even more money hungry than the last. 
He taught me air push for 900, and after that air gush for 800. Then finally I learned the last skill air swipe for 1000. That monk really came up but so did I, cause I finally had all of my airbending techniques, which officially made me an airbending master, and all I had to do to become one was get someone flowers over and over again for 25 minutes. Honestly the bending in this game looks really good visually. Out of all the skills air gush is probably my favorite, just because the animation really looks smooth. But now the question was, what to do next? I finally had all my bending techniques and all the items I wanted, what else does rogue benders have to offer? The short answer is go around and fight people. There really isn't anything else to do after getting as far as I did. The next step would just try to become the strongest in the game. Now that's how the game is for now. I honestly don't know the entire plan for the future of this project, but hopefully it gets some major content updates soon. Rogue Benders definitely has a lot of potential to be a good game, but right now it's a pretty big map with nothing in it. Most of the time when I was exploring, it really got me to notice how empty the game was. The good news is that it's being worked on, so we'll have to wait and see what is added in the future. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It really helps me out for my channel to continue to grow. Also, don't hesitate to comment down below, especially if you have any suggestions on what game you would like to see me play next. Most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'll inform you guys when I drop videos like these so you can be the first ones to see them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.